Hey guys, good morning, happy Saturday. My name is Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my day four out of five days of Asian sunscreens. Today I have a sunscreen that, you know, and I try and start all of these without any bias that I'm a little hesitant to try. Um, it is the Jigat, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, Jigat Snail UV Sunblock. This is SPF 50 and it's a PA++. So if you wanna see me review this sunscreen today, stay tuned. All right guys, so why am I hesitant to try this brand? So um, first and foremost, it's 70 milliliters, which is bigger than you get with a normal sunscreen and it's only $9. So not, not that that's, you know, bad. It's great to find a cheap sunscreen, but that being said, the packaging is expensive. So I'm just thinking that a product that only costs $9 for a size that's already bigger than normal and spends that much money just to get the attention from buyers on the shelf, I'm wondering how much money did they really leave to put into their actual product? Not to mention, it has like all of these claims on the front. It says it's not only a sunscreen, but it's whitening in addition to offering you that UV protection. And it's also wrinkle free. I don't even know what that means. Um, apparently it's supposed to leave your skin glossy, smooth, and wrinkle free. Um, which, you know, just seems kind of silly to me, but I'm guessing the glossy effect might be the greasy effect that I talk about that I don't like with sunscreen. So um, we're gonna go ahead, open it up and get into it. Now, like it says on the package, snail UV sunblock, it does have snail secretion filtrate in it, which is supposed to be very nourishing and moisturizing to the skin. So this is what the bottle looks like inside. Now, um, it does say right there, UVA and UVB. As I mentioned, this is a PA++. We don't use PA ratings here in the US. A PA rating essentially tells you um, in other countries just how well a sunscreen is going to protect you from UVA rays. A, a PA rating with four pluses is the highest PA rating you can have. So this sunscreen is just one down from the highest rating you can have, which means it should have pretty good UVA protection. Um, in addition to being an SPF 50, which you know all sunscreens are gonna protect you from that UVB, but this is a pretty good um, and high SPF. I always say for the face, neck, and chest, use an F SPF of at least 30 or above. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, it doesn't come with like a little kind of sticky cap, but it comes with like that little pin on the inside that kind of sticks inside of the product. So let's go ahead and squirt this out in our hand. This is what the consistency is looking like. So pretty creamy, um, not as dense as the other ones I've been trying this week. One thing I've been talking about is how Asian sunscreens are typically more milky. Um, and this one is just looking very creamy. The other ones, for whatever reason that I've tried this week, are, have been very dense. All right, so that is very white on my hands. Um, doesn't have much of a smell. I'm gonna put it right over my eyes because I've been doing that. and rub this in so I can already see it's leaving somewhat of a white cast on my skin so let's go ahead and see if we can rub that in it definitely is taking some additional energy to rub it in compared to some other Asian sunscreens yeah the, the smell is very minimal it's just kind of like a fresh airy maybe slightly florally smell it actually, and now this is probably gonna turn people off, but um, do you guys remember like the Nair hair removing lotion that had like a scent over it? And there's something in this that is actually reminding me of that. This is not hair removing lotion though, it is 
sunscreen. So I believe I actually got that rubbed into my skin and got rid of the white cast. Let's pull this up and look up close. Yeah, I mean, maybe just like a little bit in my eyebrows because I rubbed it directly into them. Um, but otherwise it's looking pretty, yeah, like you can just see that little bit right there that I'll rub in. Otherwise it's looking pretty good on my skin. Um, and I'm surprised. I was thinking it was going to be greasy just because of the description, but it's actually not. I would say it's very, um, matte looking. Um, and I will say as hesitant as I was, this, this sunscreen did have great reviews online. So, um, yeah, I mean, right now I don't really have any, any complaints. It's definitely not irritating my eyes. It's not giving me a greasy look. The white cast rubbed in nicely. Let's go ahead and leave it on for 20 minutes. I'll come back and see if anything has changed to that point. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, it has been 20 minutes and I have to say I am pleasantly surprised. Um, I almost wish now that I wouldn't have said how hesitant I was to try the sunscreen, but I do think I pointed out some you know, important things to think about just in terms of price and marketing and how much they're spending on packaging. That being said, I actually really like this sunscreen. It looks really nice on the skin. Um, I mean, it does say that it includes whitening agents, which I don't really even know what the whitening agents would be just by looking in here. Personally, I think the whitening effect is in the sunscreen itself because it was so white. And at first I was like, oh, it's leaving, you know, a white cast on my skin. But um, even though the white cast is gone, I will say my skin looks a little bit more lit up. So personally for me, just because this is my first time using it, I would say the whitening effect is more so like a physical topper than anything, but it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a physical thick SPF. It feels really like there's nothing on the skin. So um, I am I'm really, really impressed with this one. Um, this would be great to use, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking for a sunscreen that's going to look nice on the skin, that's not going to leave you feeling greasy, that's not going to sting your eyes, that, you know, is not going to be overly scented. Um, this is definitely a great option. So again, and I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Jigot, Jigot, Jigo. This is what it looks like right here. And actually I should have just zoomed in and shown you guys maybe the full box and bottle a little bit better. But yeah, 70 milliliters, $9 for the bottle, which is a great price. And it looks really nice and natural on the skin. Um, gosh, guys, I don't know what else to say. I would recommend this, this sunscreen. It's so far, I love it. Um, questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. And until tomorrow, I hope everyone's doing well and I'll talk to you all soon.